Hi folks. So we are going to listen to Miss Cruz. Uh, this is lesson eight in our uh, nonfiction writing unit. And Ms. Cruz has some great ideas, as always, about how to improve our writing, improve the text that we've been working on. Now, I know that you have all been working really hard on your uh, informational text. Everybody's kind of in different places. Some of you have finished writing all of your chapters in your table of contents. Some of you are just um, still working at you know, the first or the second chapter. And that's okay. Wherever you're at is where you're at. And Miss Cruz is just giving us ideas that help us with our writing as we go along. Now, today she's going to talk about the difference between a fact and an idea and how we want our writing to be a mix of facts and ideas to make it more interesting. So let's listen to Miss Cruz share her knowledge about writing. Hello, third graders. So I was just talking to a friend and they were saying, hey, what are you working on these days? And I said, well, I'm working with this third grade teacher and, um, and, and we're working on writing informational books. And they said, oh, facts, 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 so exciting. It's all about the facts when it comes to informational writing. And I thought, mm, is that exactly right? And I went back and I looked at um, Melissa Stewart's book and The Deadliest Animals. And I thought, you know what? I'm not 100% sure that this person is correct. So I went back to the very first chapter in Melissa Stewart's book, and I thought about this section right here. As I read it, see if you think it's all about facts or if there's some ideas there as well. The African lion has all the features you'd expect to find in one of the world's deadliest animals. These powerful predators are skillful stalkers that usually hunt together in groups called prides and can take down prey 10 times their size. That's why people often call lions the kings of the jungle. So looking at this, I definitely see facts. But look at that very first sentence. The African lion has all the features you'd expect to find in one of the world's deadliest animals. I mean, not really a fact, right? Like, she's talking to us like, we know, but she doesn't really know what we'd expect. And so she's sort of, it's more of an idea that this is what we would expect. And it makes it interesting. It draws us in. And then things like, you know, she includes things like prides and hunting together in groups and prey. And those are all facts. But look down here. That's why people often call lions the kings of the jungle. And while that's technically a fact, the kings of the jungle, that is what they're called, is it why people call them? Maybe, that's an idea. She's putting facts together to sort of pull together an idea. And there's all kinds of ideas, skillful and, you know, the king part. So there's a lot of different things that we might be thinking about that she's included as not just fact, 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 but she's also included some ideas to keep the readers interested. And so that's made me think a little bit about your writing. You're a lot like Melissa Stewart and all of the writers of informational books in that you're not just writing to teach people about facts, you also wanna interest your readers. So today, I want to teach you, when you write information books, you try to interest your readers by not just including fascinating facts, but also including ideas too. Writers make sure that their informational pieces include both facts and ideas to keep their readers hooked. So I thought we could go back to the last writing that we were doing together 
that whole thing about preventing cockroaches. Do you remember that? And I thought we can go back and look to see if there's a way that maybe we can add some ideas to it. So let's go back and rewrote, reread what um, we wrote last time. There are many ways that you can keep cockroaches from ever becoming a problem in your home or a class. You want to keep them from even walking in to begin with by keeping everything clean. Another way to keep cockroaches from being a problem is to keep all food in plastic, glass, or metal containers. Also, you can make the space uncomfortable by keeping it drafty. Cockroaches hate freezers. Okay, so lots of facts, but what if I added a little bit of ideas? Like, what if I added just right at the beginning, an idea like it's not an easy job to keep cockroaches out of a house, but it's possible. Right, and that can go right there. So I'm noticing that these things don't seem easy, but they definitely seem possible. And so that's an idea. It's not a fact, right? Now, I mean, some people might think this is totally easy. Some people might think it's totally impossible. So it is an idea, it's not a fact, but it's based off of the facts where I'm getting that idea. So I'm jotting that down as sort of like a lead in to all these facts. And then down here at the bottom, after the part about the breezes and the draftiness, maybe I can just sort of like pull it all together with something about us, right? Like humans. I think I love that Melissa Stewart did that whole king of the jungle thing. Maybe I can do a phrase like that. Humans can say, what can humans say? No entry to roaches by taking a few simple steps. All right. So you can see how I went through and I looked at all of our facts and then I thought of like, what's an idea I could add at the beginning and what's an idea I could add at the end. I could probably even add some ideas in the middle, but this is a way to make sure that my readers are getting both a balance of facts and ideas. So no, information writers don't just write fact, 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 they also write ideas that come off of their facts. So today, when you're drafting and revising your piece, one thing that you might want to try is going back and thinking about ways you could slide in a few ideas that are built off of your facts. All right, writers, happy writing. Okay, so I so appreciate Miss Cruz's expertise in writing. She's really given us some great ideas to think about. As usual, you can take these ideas and put them into your work. Or if you're not ready for this idea yet, just keep it in mind. And when you start to revise your draft, then think about how you can include ideas and make sure there's a balance of ideas and facts. So take another 15 minutes, set a timer and write. Pencil to paper, get some of those chapters written, Maybe think about adding some details like we've talked about in the past. Think about keeping those connections between chapters, connections between paragraphs happening, and then think about how you can balance ideas and facts. All right, can't wait to see what you have, and I'll see you soon.